we heard you're preparing um, a new edition of Huffington Post in Greece. We are um, expanding um, across the world. We launched the Huffington Post in the UK, in Canada, and then in Quebec, and uh, we launched Le Huffington Post in France, mm -hmm. uh, avec Le Monde. Uh, we're basically partnering with different media partners in each country. We're going to Spain next. We're launching there at the beginning of June with El País, then in Italy with Espresso, and we're in neg negotiations with uh, different possible partners in Greece. Mm -hmm. And you are from Greece, and that probably plays okay. a big role. That accent is for real. <laughs> <laughs> In case you're wondering, yes. Yeah. Um, you made um, a suggestion for Davos conference to be transferred to Greece. Basically, do you remember after, um, after the World Trade Center attack, we saw Davos move to New York uh, as a kind of so an expression of solidarity with New York during those difficult times. So I thought maybe Davos should be moved to Santorini or uh, Patmos, you know, a beautiful Greek island. I actually made that uh, suggestion while I was at Davos, uh, which is always snowing and slippery, <laughs> and you always feel lucky if you get out of there without having break, broken something. So I thought it wouldn't it be wonderful if all those great sessions took place in sunny Greece, while at the same time supporting the Greek economy and Greek tourism, etc. Do you get a lot of heat for being Greek in Washington and around, around meetings, you know? Oh my God, everybody wants to be Greek. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with the crisis, what, what do they tell you? What do you tell crisis. them? Crisis, no. Um, they do not personally blame me. <laughs> although, although, I honestly think that, the, um, all joking apart, um, the austerity measures being imposed on Greece at the moment, I think, are disastrous. Um, we are making it much harder for the economy to grow and to get out of the... Uh, of the um, terrible place it's in now, which is really affecting millions of people. Uh, Huffington Post was a blogging experience in the beginning, as, as, as I saw it, as a visitor. And now it's a, it's a full news website. Um, was that intentional or is that where the, the internet took you? We are an entirely digital operation that consists of three things. A collection of blogs. We have over 30,000 bloggers with their own password, plus hundreds of submissions a day. Uh, we aggregate news and curate them. And we also have now over 400 original reporters and editors who produce a lot of content ourselves. Mm -hmm. And a very active community at the heart of the Huffington Post is engagement mm -hmm. and people not just consuming news, but adding their own views, uh, sharing them, passing them on, 